it's important to understand that it's not possible for us to fulfill each and everyone's expectations around us. The point is that a lot of people would demean you if you're growing. A lot of people would talk something about you no matter how much best you're giving in any situation. A lot of people would want you to change as a person. But the point is that if you're changing for someone else, probably someone else is controlling your life. And that is a thing which I do not encourage at all. You should take charge and take control of your own life. Well, I'm not saying that you shouldn't change as a person. The only point which I'm trying to make is that it's really very difficult in order to fulfill each and everyone's expectations around us. Let me be very frank with you. So I was a person who was very conscious about what people used to talk about me, what people used to think about me and probably what they used to expect out of me as a person. Now let me take a very simple example. After getting ranks in my CPT and IPCC examinations, a lot of people had this expectation from me that I'll come in the top 3 ranks in my CA finals. So even during my articleship days, a lot of my friends used to say that you'll come in the top 3. Even in one of the class, the faculty had said in front of 160 students that Kushal, you're going to come in the top 10 ranks. Okay, so this shows that the faculty has some confidence but at the same time it really created a lot of pressure within me because I had to fulfill that expectation otherwise the wordings or the statement which the faculty had passed it wouldn't have any particular value at all. But listen, so at the same time a lot of people are going to expect from you as well. If you clear your foundation exams then a lot of people would expect you to clear your intermediate exam in first attempt. After clearing the intermediate exam a lot of people would expect you to clear your final exams in one go itself. But just let me be very clear this was a similar situation with me as well. You have to ignore all these expectations which are going to be there. The most important people whom you value would be your parents. And if your parents are expecting something from you then it's your responsibility to give something back to them. And what I'm trying to say here is that people whom you value like your parents or maybe some of your very close friends. If they are expecting something from you, you should treat this as a positive motivation and not as a pressure. So the differentiating factor over here is that you should convert this pressure which you feel might happen into an external kind of a motivation which is a thing which I had done. So people whom I used to value, if they used to expect something out of me, I would ensure that I'll convert this particular pressure or tension or nervousness into positivity, optimism and external motivation. And that is a thing which really helped me in order to get a rank in my CA finals examination as well. You know, you have to understand that there are going to be a lot of people whom you are going to meet. You'll meet some good people, you'll meet some bad people. The important point is that what you take from those people, even bad people will have some of the good qualities and it's really important to learn something from each and every one around us. So after you grow as a person, eventually you will realize that some people would be jealous. Some people won't want you to grow as a person because they would want themselves to grow and you have to avoid all these kind of people and you just have to cut yourself off from all these kind of people. Let's take a simple example. On one of my YouTube videos of time management, I had received my first hate comment on that video. And that comment was that you aren't the right person to teach us time management, who do you think you are? So that was a very negative comment and I was completely heartbroken because that was the first hate comment I had received on my YouTube videos. So I just spoke to a friend of mine and I told him that like it's really bothering me because I was just motivating the students and I was just trying to give my best in order to motivate them to study in negative times of COVID pandemic. But what I'm getting in return, these negative comments. So my friend told me that if you are growing, then you definitely are going to get these hate comments. So take this as a constructive criticism and take this positively because it shows that you are growing as a person. So remember this thing in life, if you are growing, not only in maybe content creation, but even in your life, there would be people who would talk some or the other thing about you and it's very important to ignore all this negative externality which is there because this bothers a lot at the time of studying. So let's take an example again about academics. During my CA final leave, what mindset I had while studying was that a lot of people expect something out of me. If I didn't used to feel like studying, I just used to think or reiterate in my mind that a lot of people are expecting something out of me. I have to fulfill their expectations. Why? Because I value all these people, be it my parents, be it my class teachers or be it my friends whom I'm working with during the articleship. But at the same time, it's important that you don't take this as pressure. So if a lot of people like relatives or anyone else is trying to create pressure on you just try to ignore that and focus on your academic part so it's up to you whether you take this as pressure or external motivation and that is a differentiating factor at the same time i'd like to state that it's very important to value very small things in your life be it thanking your parents be it thanking your maid who's cleaning your room be it thanking your sister who's cooperating with you because you're studying be it your brother who's supporting you in your academics be it any particular person the point is that this chart shows the importance of value the value when you don't have any particular thing it's very high when you have that particular thing the value diminishes and when you lose that particular thing the value would increase back to the same position again probably it might be higher as well 
So the point here is that we should make all these bars equal in height. And once we make these bars equal in height, then we'll realize and then we'll be able to value each and everything properly at the same time and at the same height as well. Sometimes I feel extremely grateful because my dad used to ensure that no one enters my room when I'm studying. My maid initially she used to clean my room because I used to take break from 8.15 am to 8.30 am. Ideally what happens is that the maid would sweep the entire house first then mop the floor of the entire house. But for me she used to ensure that since I used to take break at 8.15 am, she used to come at 8.15 am sharp, she used to be very punctual, this is a thing which I've learned from her and after ringing the bell at 8.15 am sharp, she used to sweep the room and mop the floor of my room. So that is the thing which I really liked and I used to thank her always at 8.25 am whenever she used to get out of the room after mopping the floor and it used to bring a smile on her face. You need to value these things, you need to thank people because you need to realize that you should give credit to each and everyone who are giving so many efforts for you. So it's important that they should also feel recognized, they should also be valued because at the same time these small things are definitely going to help you to become successful. So to put it differently, trifle amounts to perfection but perfection is not trifle. So it's like small things amount to perfection but perfection is not a small thing at all. It's very simple like a drop of water is worthless but a zillions of drops make the ocean. And that is the thing I'm trying to say that you should value small things, thank people who are adding value in your lives, show them that you really value them and care for them and ultimately you would be a better human being one day. So I hope this video was useful for all of you in terms of understanding the importance of not fulfilling everyone's expectations but at the same time valuing small things and thanking each and everyone around us who's going to help us in order to clear our exams or maybe achieve any particular goal which we have in our mind. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like this video, share it with all your friends and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos for all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.